I'm sure we have all heard of ChatGBT, the AI taking over the world and everyone being able to ask any question to it, get it to do many different prompts, and just the ability of AI is getting absolutely ridiculously insane. What if we could use AI to make investments into the stock market and go into financial fields and make decisions that might beat the market, something that the vast majority of professionals can't even do. After all, an AI is able to think way faster than a normal person, cover way more things on the internet than anyone ever could. So maybe it could get the information it needs to actually beat the market. So if we head over to ChatGBT, this is the AI right here, you can kind of see, uh, we'll try and prompt it to give us a stock portfolio. So we'll just say, uh, make a 10 stock portfolio and we'll uh give that the prompt and it's uh going to give us not what we're asking for because chat gbt is uh something a little bit different and you can see here that it's just kind of giving you this generic spit out type of investment things talking about important to note building a diversified portfolio of stocks requires careful consideration and planning but you can see it actually did list out 10 uh companies here that you, I guess you could invest in. Usually, when I've tried to make ChatGBT give me a prompt for stocks, usually it comes out saying you it can't do it and it has it can't do this financial stuff. But this time, uh, apparently, maybe I made the the prompt super basic, just make a ten stock thing, and this is what it spit out here. So this one is saying Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Berkshire. Visa, Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, Exxon, and Pepsi. So looking at this, I mean, nothing crazy. You know, these are all big companies, nothing you'd expect out of the ordinary. Uh, but getting it to try and give like a smaller caps type thing, you have to put so many restrictions. And actually in this chat, GBT, this one, you can't really do that because it won't give you those those options because it will, after this, this is the first time I've ever actually seen it give an actual list here. Uh, but it'll go to that generic, I can't give you this type of thing. But if we go to the playground, this is an AI where uh, it's basically, it's based off of the same thing or very similar things. It's from the same company, but you can see I gave it the same prompt, make a 10 stock portfolio uh, and list what percents of the portfolio each stock makes up. I wanted to see if it would make it so that one is way heavier than the other, but they're all the same. And this one, came out as Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, JP Morgan, Johnson, Johnson, Walmart, Bank of America, Exxon, AT&T, and Goldman Sachs. So a little bit different than the chat GBT one. And I tried to get more specific without really limiting what the, what the AI could go for. I didn't want to try and make it and shape it so that I excluded certain things it could pick saying make a 10 stock portfolio made up of large cap, medium caps, and small cap listing out the percents again and uh, make this a portfolio that will perform well over the next year. And it came out with the exact same list as the one before. So uh, maybe this is one that's supposed to perform well, but looking at these two, we, these are two we could choose from, uh, the chat GBT one here, or the playground version here, which is supposed to do well over the next year. Now this one, the chat GBT one here, it does say that it is a potential list of 10 stocks that you could consider for a diversified portfolio. Um, and then down here, it's even given like a disclaimer, do your own research and consider your own financial goals and risk tolerance. So it's kind of funny, even the AI has got to give disclaimer that it's not financial advice. Uh, but I think we're gonna go with this list here just because I gave it the prompt to make make this a portfolio that will perform well over the next year. And uh, this is what it spit out. So we are going to take those 10 stocks and put it into a paper trading account here on Webull and list them all out evenly. So it should be roughly $1,000 in each stock. Couldn't get exactly there because you have to buy full shares in this account. So we'll uh, just go as close as we can and try and make it as even as possible. So you can see this is our portfolio here. It is on buys. Everything will be bought tomorrow or when the market opens. And you can see it's Goldman Sachs. One share, it should be three or four shares. I think three, uh, but for some reason won't let me buy it. So I'll see tomorrow and see what's going on trying to make it so that it actually does buy it. We got AT&T, 55 shares. Exxon Mobil, nine shares, Bank of America, 31, Walmart, seven, 
Johnson & Johnson, five shares. JP Morgan, seven shares. Microsoft, four shares. Apple, eight shares. And Amazon at 11 shares. So we get to see if this portfolio ends up beating the market because wouldn't that be something if an AI could come up with enough information to put together a portfolio list that would actually beat the market. The thing that the vast majority of professionals can't even do. Now to be completely honest, it's probably not gonna happen. It's probably not gonna beat the market. And even if it does for one year, it's probably a lot of luck. As we know, like a monkey can pick stocks and they'll actually beat the market. And like during bull markets, they'll be able to beat it and do all this stuff. But over a long period of time, that's not how it works out. And AI, even though it is insane, insanely good right now and just ridiculous the things it can do, it's still not at a perfect level and it's still evolving. So it's just pulling information from the internet and probably pulling information from uh, a lot of sources that just list a lot of the big companies. So maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe the AI structured portfolio will be a thing of the future and no one will ever use financial advisors again. They'll just go on here to chat GBT, type in, make me a portfolio and get spit out results that they're gonna want to invest in. But we'll follow this. I'll have this portfolio for the next year and looking at it and seeing how it performs. We'll be able to actually track everything and see how it does over the next year and uh, see if it actually beats the market and if AI investing is the way of the future. But that's gonna do it for this video. As always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Remember to 1,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in my next video.